Yo! Welcome back to another video. I'm M. Kwan. Let me see you do it. Peace and blessings to all out there. I pray and hope you're all doing well. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this isn't going to be a standard vlog. And you know, in all honesty, I was moved to make this video. I, I had this urge to make the video. Think of it as coming from my heart. And in the words of Imam Ali, Karam Allah Wajho, he said, what comes from the heart, goes to the heart. So hopefully it should have uh, a positive impact on some of you guys. I'm making this video hopefully to inspire some of you because I do get asked this question uh, a fair bit, but also as a motivation for myself because quite regularly I might go back and actually view some of my videos myself when I need the motivation. So here's the thing, um, I'm in Leicester. Believe it or not, I actually uh, dropped the family off down south, came back here because there was a couple of things that I needed to deal with. And um, you know, I've been for the best part of 20 days here in Leicester we've had a number of family weddings and weddings are an interesting time because during weddings what happens is that you get to meet people that you wouldn't otherwise get to meet normally particularly if you live away from your hometown the place that you were born and raised now, some of you who are new to this channel might not know I'm actually born and raised here in Leicester in the United Kingdom and uh, since the weddings were taking place here, there was an opportunity for me to catch up and meet old school friends, uh, old acquaintances, uh, old people that I used to work with, elders in the community, a whole range of family friends and family as well. And it was quite interesting because on the one hand, there were two groups of people. The one group of people knew exactly what I was doing thanks to the power of the internet and social media. When I'd meet them, I got really quite positive responses. People were very, you know, proud of what I've achieved. And then on the other hand, there were those group of people that knew absolutely nothing about what I'm doing. And when they'd ask, so what are you doing? And I'd respond, oh, that's very good, mashallah. And one of the people asked me this question uh, during this period of time. Did you plan for this? And I thought to myself, that's a really odd and interesting question. It's odd and interesting because I've thought about that a number of times. I've had that question raised by some of you guys. This concept of, you know, can you plan for your future? Well, here's the thing. A number of years ago, I had no idea that my life would be the way that it is now, but I was working and planning for it. Now, let me explain. First of all, we do have control over the actions that we take. And some of those actions can have an impact on our reality. Now, that's very important. Well, really broadly speaking, there are three things that I thought about in terms of what you can do or what I've done for myself personally to try and help plan for the future. And there's a fourth aspect, which is something that helps keep that momentum going. The first thing, the first thing is really simple. It's to have goals, to have an idea of what you want to achieve. And for me personally, I've spoken about this in previous videos. I try and break it down into uh, relationships that I have. So as a somebody that works, somebody that is a father, somebody that is a husband. I try and have goals and a vision for all of those different relationships, but it's really important to have that vision, to have those goals. Because if you don't have those visions, don't have those goals, and really you're not working towards anything. You're basically like a plank on you know, this vast sea, and whichever way the current goes, that's the way that you'll be dragged. So point number one is to have goals, to have vision, and to aim for something. Broadly speaking, five years ago, six years ago, those of you that are very close to me that are watching this video will know, and I made public on my social media, what some of those goals and visions were for me. And in some ways, actually in many ways, what I had set myself back then has become a reality now. And that's because those goals were specific, but also broad enough as well at the same time. And that's a skill and part of the challenge that many of us face, that we have these grand goals and, and visions, but they're not specific enough, and at the same time, not broad enough as well. So let's take an example and give you an example so you can factually see what I'm talking about. First of all, as an example, I had a vision whereby I wanted to be earning uh, a certain amount of money so that I could independently take care of myself, my wife, you know, my immediate family, that small unit family, because I was recently married. So I had this idea, I said, okay, based on the qualifications that I have, based on the experience that I have, this is broadly what I can look at earning, and this is broadly where I need to go to earn that kind of money. Now, I was broad in the sense that I was broad geographically, broad in the sense that I was willing, you know, to move away from Leicester if I needed to go elsewhere to try and reach that target goal. 
So I hope that gives you some idea about the goal aspect that I'm talking about. Point number two, once you've set those goals, you need to have plan. Now, people have goals by the dozen, but what differentiates those people that actually attain those goals are based on point number two, which is setting a plan, setting a realistic, smart plan. So the plan aspect is really crucial. The plan aspect helps you to break down what your bigger, larger goal or vision is. And again, the plan should be broad because it means that it can swap and change and it can amend. Incidentally, the plan and the goal, both of those, the way that I've done them in the past is have had them short term, and I'm talking about sort of 18 to 24 months, and more longer term, five to 10 years. And again, you know, life throws us curveballs. How we react to some of those changes. So be prepared to adapt, to amend, to change those plans. But it's so important to take the goals and the plans that you have in your mind and make them a reality by first and foremost writing them down. So that's point number two. The third thing, probably the hardest part, is to actually do it. Just do it. To actually get up, to go and do the work. Because unless you're not doing the work, you're not gonna be moving forward. You're not going to be getting closer to that vision or the goal that you've set yourself. Really, I can't say much more than that. The final point, once you start seeing the results of your vision and plan, is to stop reevaluate, look at what you've done, existing, what's been good about it, and what you can change and adapt. In the Islamic spiritual tradition, they call this muraqaba. Muraqaba is when you introspect, you, you, you intro reflect on what you've attained so far. And you use that principle then to go back to the drawing board, to learn from the mistakes, to adapt, to change, to amend. And, you know, I'm glad that question was asked to me because, you know, actually stopped and jot down what I've learned. And there's some things that, you know, I'm working on now, which hopefully we'll see the future in the next three to five years. And there are some things that are happening now for me that actually have been based on what I would planning and working on last 18 to 24 months. So that's it. I mean, you know, ultimately the hard part in life is in the doing, not in the theory aspect of it. But sometimes it can be helpful to know how we get to a certain reality. You know, in the day and age that we live in, it's very easy to open your Instagram account, your Snapchat, your social media feeds and see people and see their successes. Very rarely do we get to see people's progress, actually have someone explain to them how hard they've had to work or how much planning they've had to do or what they've gone through to get to that position. And yes, there are some people that uh, get it really easy, seem to just fall in their laps. But for those individuals, that in itself is a trial because it's not something that they've attained themselves through hard work. And I think for the rest of us, it's unfair to actually say they aren't deserving of that because the reality is that is a card that they were dealt with. Now, what they will have to adapt to is how they use that opportunity. All of us can only work with what we have in front of us. You know, I've learned something I get continually reminded about. Really, life is more about the journey than it is about the destination. And I think that's key. So planning for your future, making it happen, being in control of your life, and ultimately enjoying the journey. If you found this helpful, then please do leave a comment down below. Do share some of your thoughts with the community. Let's get a conversation going comment below. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, join us on Team M Kwan by hitting that subscribe button. Oh, and one final thing, do a good deed. If you found this genuinely helpful for yourself, hit that share button. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, because if it's helped you, it might just help somebody else. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, I'm M Kwan. Live life, peace and blessings.